Welcome back to Prodigy Coins, and today I will be hunting a $25 penny box. We got a $25 penny box, which means that we have 50 rolls or 2,500 pennies to look through. Let's see what we can find. Take a look at what we found in this penny box. Let's start off with the bicentennials. I found one early life coin, four formative years coin, four professional life coins, and three presidency coins. I also found one toned professional life coin, which is hard to see due to it can only be seen from certain angles, and one 2009D professional life coin, which I needed for my date set. That brings the total for professional life coins up to six, and the total for all bicentennials up to fourteen. Other coins that I needed for my date set were this 1982D Zinc Large Date Coin, which is the last of all the 1982s that I needed. And this 1962 and this 1969. I'm honestly very surprised that I had not found these sooner. Moving on, I found just a few toned coins. I'm not going to go into looking at those too much. They're not worth very much. I just find them very interesting. And I think it's very cool how this can happen to coins where they get such beautiful colors. I found four Canadian cents, a 1963, a 1972, a 1977 and a 1978. Those are all nice. None worth anything, but they're just really nice pieces. Moving on to wheat cents, I found two 1958Ds, one 1957D, one 1954D, one 1953 S, one 1952 D, one 1952, one 1951 D, one 1949 D, a 1946s, a 1946, two 1945s, and our oldest one, a 1920. It's very cool because usually you don't find coins this old in circulating penny boxes. And keep in mind, this box was definitely, as you can tell, a used box. It is filled with wheats and bicentennials, a great mix of coins. And then lastly, I found this brass plated 1993D set. Nothing worth much, it's just kind of cool find. Usually you don't find those hiding around in boxes. So this would have been something someone did to a coin. You can do this in your own house. Just look up how to make a gold colored penny and you'll find many different ways that you can do that. Overall, some pretty good finds. We got 14 Wheaties, 14 Bicentennials, 4 Toned, 1 Toned Bicentennial, 4 that I needed for my book, 4 Canadians, and this Brass Plated. Overall, it was a really neat box. Nothing too great, 
but it was a really fun one to look through. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Have a wonderful day.